Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Packer server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Packer. So from this product description page, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this subscription page from where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Now once the subscription validation process is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region or zone where you want to deploy the virtual machine. So once satisfied with the setting, simply click on continue to launch. And then you would be brought to this page from where you have two different launch options. Now you can launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 management console and then click on launch. Now this launches the EC2 management console in the new tab. Now within this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as Packer. And then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements. After that, scroll down and choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. And then you can leave the network settings as default and then simply click on launch instance when you're satisfied with all of these settings. Once you do that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for that, simply click on view all instances and then you can see that our newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. So simply wait for it to change its state from pending to running. Now once the virtual machine is in the running state, simply right click on it and then choose connect. And then from this page simply head over to the RDP client tab. Now as you can see that we have the public DNS, the username but we do not have the password. So simply click on get password and then it is going to ask you to upload your key pair. Now the key pair associated with this instance is written right over here. So simply click on browse and locate your key pair. Once that is done, simply click on decrypt password. And then you would get your password right over here. Now to connect to this virtual machine, simply hit windows and type in remote desktop connection. And copy this public DNS and paste it in front of this computer field. After that, copy this username, come back to remote desktop connection, click on show options and paste it in front of this username field and then click on connect. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So copy this password and paste it in this field and then click on OK. And then it is going to prompt you once more. So simply click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now, once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you can start using Packer. Now to use Packer, you need to either access the command prompt or the PowerShell which are placed on the desktop for your convenience. So open either one of them and then simply type in the command Packer and then hit enter. Now this command is going to show you all of the commands of Packer along with the verification that Packer has been installed within this virtual machine. So as you can see that this is the list of all the available commands. Now you can run them easily by simply typing in the word Packer and then followed up by the command. So for example, if I want to run a very basic command like version so I would type in packer space version and then hit enter and then it is going to display me that the current version installed in this virtual machine is version 1.7.10 after that let's say we want to run some other command so we can type in like packer hcl2 underscore upgrade which is simply going to change the json template to hcl2 configuration so if I hit enter and shows that it will transform your json template into an hcl2 configuration just like that, we can also run something like Packer init, which is going to initialize or install a missing plugins or upgrade the installed plugins. This is how you can use Packer. So I'm going to put a link of the official documentation by Packer in the description box so you can create or build images according to your liking. And that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. Make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Packer on Amazon Web Services. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.